Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here today on ESG and Natus. We're back here for MLB 17 the show. This is the Kansas City Royals franchise and this is episode 121 today as we have the uh, Blue Jays in action here with us today. So we're going to wrap up the month of May here and play this uh, first game of the series and then of course we'll go ahead and sim there the last two of this series so and the, as you see there we just uh, got a good sweep over uh the uh white Sox there in that uh previous series there we did not play uh, i did not play that one uh, uh here but today uh we have now won four in a row and uh for our at least from our final game there against the Padres, which we last uh, in the last episode we lost and uh, like I said, able to bounce back there. Today we got uh, King Felix there. He's going to be on the hill here today as they take a look at his numbers there. He, his last start did not do so well. And today he's going to go against Marcus Stroman. Now both guys from the previous starts here did not play so well. Uh, six and one start so far for uh, Felix uh, with a 1.44 ERA. 86 strikeouts there. His last game was game two against the Padres where we lost. Uh, he had a bad day there on the bump. Only five in the third innings of work. Gave up five hits, three runs. All of them were earned. Four walks. And not uh, not like himself there. He only has seven strikeouts there in that game. Now, as for Toronto, as Str uh, Stroman there, you see his numbers. Five uh, innings there of work for him. Uh, he, he is two and three for the season. 62 strikeouts with a 3.28 ERA. Yeah, ERA right now. And uh, like I said, his last start there was not so good there. So both men had a bad start there. One of them today is going to have a good one. And the other one, well, he's going to have to continue his uh, his bad fortune, bad luck. So we'll go to uh, the K here. As we're, it's a beautiful evening here for some baseball here in KC. As Adam Lynn here, bottom of the first. We'll see what he can do. He's going to belt this one there. That is going to be good enough there. For a double for Adam Lynn. I am so happy that we are able to pick him up. Uh, and he's just been clutch there. When two outs and he's up to bat, he can be clutch and get a two-out rally going for us. And that has been something he's been doing quite well here. Uh, but really from last season and especially now starting this season off. So Hosmer there, uh, not a good start here for him. Of course, he's been in there's been rumors. And, of course, we've kind of, kind of admitted, yeah, if things don't change, we'll have to get rid of him. But Hosmer there, you see here, he is going to go ahead. He's going to draw ground out there, and that is going to end the inning. So not, not able to move the runner or get the runner and score or get the runner uh, driven home there. But we end up uh, it, not, nothing getting out of that inning as it's a 4-3 put out there on Hosmer. So go to the top of the second here. We'll see Adrian, uh, Adrian Beltran now up to bat here. We'll see what he can do. As uh, we'll see, uh, Felix, like I said, in the, this first uh, his, his game uh, since his last start, that it wasn't a too good of a start there. Beltran here hits this one out to right field and skies this one, but it's going to be easily uh, caught there from Mike uh, Mike uh, Marquez there. So nice job, of course. Marquez, uh, surprisingly enough, has been doing very well for us, and I'm really thinking about uh, bringing him up in the order here. As you see Lara there, oh, hits this one off the leg of uh, of the uh, pitcher, and no one can make a play there to first, so that's going to be put a runner on board. So now Milky Cabrera up to bat there, four home runs, 11 RBIs here for him for the season, as they have one on and one out, and we'll see what we can get Milky into a double play here to try to wrap up this inning, and this one's going to be a dribbler there. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted, and that's exactly what we got. And we get out of the inning there for a double play there. So nice job there for the double Royals here getting the uh, Blue Jays hitter there in the double play. Now Salvi up to bat here, top or bottom of the second. And he's going to fly this one out to right field. That's one that's going to be easy to catch and easy to put away there. One away for the Royals. As we'll see, uh, Royals here trying to get something going. It's uh, Devin here. Having a bit of a slow go here in the last couple of last two weeks here now. And he's starting to get on a slump here. And we got to try to get him out of that slump. As uh, well, that's not going to help us out there. As he uh, dribbles that one there to second for the easy out. Out number two. So there you see a ground out there. Four to three put away there from 
the second baseman. So now, now uh, Moose Talk is now up to bat here. We'll see what Moose can do. As uh, we'll see, he's been hitting very well for us this season. As he, of course, uh, belting a couple home runs here. He's getting almost up there, the home run leader there for the ball club. There, as he belts this one there to left center field. That one's going to be a good enough for a double. So the Royals now have, again, another two-out double here on their hands. And let's see if we can try to drive him home. There you see a 12th double of the season there for him as he's at second base waiting for Marquecas to do something here. So here we go, Marquecas. Let's see what he can do as we'll see the pitch here. And this one's going to be dribble there to the second baseman who just throws that one over there. No problem there and get the routine play and getting the out. And that is going to leave another runner stranded out there for the Royals now. As two runners now have left stranded here uh, in this ball game. As uh, now we'll see here in the top half of the third. Kratz now up to bat here to start off for the Blue Jays. As uh, he is uh, one of their young up-and-coming players here. Got a full count on Kratz now here. And we'll see if we can put him away there. And he is going to, yeah, like I said, he took went around. So he goes after that uh, that changeup low and away. That's one away on the Blue Jays as uh, Hernandez has started getting back his pitching here, and uh, he's starting to look like uh, the Hernandez as well, we brought him over from Seattle just uh, two seasons ago. We'll see here. This one hit right up there. That hits off the bag, and no one can make a play there as uh, Hosmer just could not. Hosmer thought that was hit off the top of the bag, but hit in front of the bag there. So now puts a runner on first. So lucky breaks here for uh, the Blue Jays. As we'll see now, uh, Burt out here. And he's going to hit this one. That is going to be a base hit. Runners now in scoring position now. And the Blue Jays got something going. So now one out, two on. And we'll see here a 0-2 uh, count here. We'll see this one getting now over to left field here. Can uh, Gordon get to it? And Gordon does. Gets the catch there, and it keeps the runners there at first and second. No one is going to available advance on that fly ball there to left field. So now Rasp is there. You see a second. And we'll see if we can try to shut this down here. And uh, we'll see here. That's going to be a hit there. And that is going to be a runner potentially coming to score. No, Rasp is going to be smart. He's going to stay at third. And the bases are juiced. So now uh, Reyes now at third. Uh, first, Burt at second, and Rams, uh, Ramsey's at third. We'll see El, uh, Edwin as caution unknown here. He'll pop this one up, and this is going to be an ender, uh, inning, inning catch as he pops this one right up there. So he tight ropes out of the inning here, but nonetheless, a little scary there. And the bases are loaded there for the Blue Jays. No run comes across. So now we move on now to the fourth inning here, as we'll see here. Adrian Beltran here hits this one out to right field. This is going to be high and deep. Potentially off the wall, and it goes over the wall. And that is a home run. Blue Jays now lead it here now. 1-0 here in KC. Could not believe that. I thought it was going to hit off the uh, bounce off the wall as the way they had that uh, showing there. But no, it goes over the wall. Hits his fifth home run of the season. And that one, 375 there to right field. Tough break there for us. But nonetheless, we are we definitely got to get back here, go, get things going here for ourselves. So now we'll see now here up to bat here. We'll see you laterally here. He'll strike out there on that uh, low slider there. That's one away as uh, Hernandez got to bounce himself back out of this uh, funk that he's in. We'll see next pitch here. This one there going to Hosmer for the easy play. And that is going to be an easy tag at the bag at first. And that is going to be two away now for the Blue Jays. Or I should say one away for the Blue Jays, I should say. Uh, or no, two. Because, uh, uh, yeah, Cabrera hit that one. Now we'll see you here. It's Kratz up to bat here. We'll try to see if we can end the inning here on a good note here. Try to get him out as we're struggling here in this inning. And Kratz, yep, slider there. Low inside there. He swings and misses there. And that ends the at bat so now we go to the top of the fifth here for the blue jays again the blue jays again again threading here two out and or excuse me one out two on or no two out two on and we'll see a play here they try to get the force out here they do so at second nice job and that is going to end the ball game so nice job there 
as we're able to get out of this one here, but still trailing by a run. So here we go now to the bottom half of the seventh here. We'll see what the, uh, or I should say, no, the uh, bottom, top half of the seventh, excuse me. Go to the top half of the seventh here, and we'll see a uh, one-two count here as the second baseman drills this one out there. That is going to be good enough for extra bases here. As look at his speed there. Great speed from that second baseman and gets himself on board. Nice job as the Blue Jays again now threatening here to make this one a 2 nothing ball game. So now runner at second here. Reyes here pops this one up there. Bloops this one here high and deep out to right field. I don't know why, but this time it hits off the wall. Runner comes in to score. Reyes, of course, got great speed there even though he's up there in age and he gets a nice triple oh my goodness what is going on here we might have to need to start calling the bullpen here and that is not like us especially when Felix is out there on the bump so now run, run one runner on board here at third two out can he get the runner out here this is gonna be a fly ball there this one should end this one as it does there nice job as we everybody get out of the inning. So now Salvi needs to come up here and try to get something going for us here in the top or bottom half of the seventh here. We'll see what he can do if we can get a rally going here. And we need it badly as we're down by two. And the fans here in KC are trying to support their ball club here as much as possible here. We'll see Salvi here. Skies this one there to left field. This one is just going to stay up there and stay in the ballpark there. And that is going to be one away. Not what we need right now here in these last... Uh, um, the last third of these uh, of this ball game. So now two uh, O2 count here, one out. We'll see Murrow here, of course, trying to get him out of his funk here, and he swings and misses there as he strikes out there on that high fastball in, and that is two away there on the Royals. As now Mustak is up to bat next here, O2 for him, two out. We'll see if Musakis can get a two-out rally going here for us, as you'll see here. This one goes up the middle there. That's going to be a single, so nice job as he does get on board there for us. So now we got a rally going for ourselves now. We've got a runner on board. We'll try to see what we can do with uh, Markakis now up to bat here. One runner on board. 0-1 count. Markakis here hits this one here. Hits this one. Oh, no. Hits this one too hard. Goes straight to the center fielder, Cody Raspins, and that ends the ball game here. As it's two to nothing with one stranded. So bottom of the ninth here now, last chance now for the Royals to do something here. Of course, we're the cardiac kids. We like to come back towards the last uh, inning or two here to come back in this ball game. We'll see if we can do that here today. Hosmer up to bat here. Don't know if we can if we got him starting here for us. But we'll try to see now as Hosmer here goes for the first pitch here and he belts this one here, but that one is going to be short and it's going to easily be caught there as that's one away for the Royals. So not a good day for Hosmer as Will Venable gets a nice catch there to right field. So now Perez up to bat here. We'll see what he can do. We'll see if Salvi can get something going here. And uh, we'll see what, if he can find a gap somewhere here. Nope, that one's going to be a dribbler there to the third baseman. That's going to be easy uh, throw. A nice uh, five to three put away. And that's two away now here for the Royals. So now, last chance now for the Royals to get something going here. Marrero 0 for 3. He struck out back in the 7th now. This is the perfect time now for him to get something going and uh, really just uh, turn himself around here and get this bat going here. He's been just really slumping it here lately. We'll see there. He'll belt this one here high up, and this one's going to be easily get caught, and that is going to be your ball game. As unfortunately the Royals do not win this one here today. They lose game one of this three game series with the Blue Jays. And we'll see final score two to nothing. Man, tough. But Blue Jays are a tough team here, especially with the, the, that bad lineup they have right now. They got a pretty good lineup there, especially with a combination of power and speed. That is something you cannot mess with. And that's something that we really need to have. I've been trying to work on that but ah, just could not do it today two runs 11 hits there for the uh, Blue Jays no runs six hits there for the Royals just could not come up with the hits that we needed there Marcus Stroman your player of the game there uh, three and three now for the season complete game six hits four K's in the ball game Reyes two for four uh, the triple in an RBI Beltrain of course that one home run one for four a r a RBI and a run 
and uh, Rasmus there, three for four in a run. Or three for four in a strikeout there. Uh, for us, um, Stock is two for three, a double in that game. Lynn, one for four, a double. And Infante, one for four. And Golden, or actually, Infante and Gordon both have one, were one for four in the ball game. Now, you take a look at the second game there. You see Linus won by 10, 13 to three. This one I actually played. And uh, it was really fun. I had to, I had to play, I had to play against these guys again. I had to show them what we could do. And boy, did I just tear them a new one there. As uh, you take a look at the numbers there, really did a great job there, shutting them down. As we had ten strikeouts, uh, we had or the Blue Jays had ten strikeouts in that game there. And uh, I actually had an issue with the second baseman there. He in that game, he was just a just a butt. And uh, of course, we did. Uh, I, I threw at him. I threw at his head and. He, uh, we got warning calls there, so the rest of the game I couldn't throw at him because they were just making some really bad calls uh, against us. You know, calling things that were things that were strikes uh, should have been balls, balls that they, balls that should have been balls should have been strikes, uh, and it was just a just not a good gameplay there from the, the umpires there. But we were able to come back, and we came back big, especially in that third inning there. We just uh, just lit them up. And did a great job there to win that one back. So good job there. We, we tied the series up there, uh, one apiece there. Uh, take a look at the numbers there. Gordon had a home run. Uh, Lynn had two. Hosmer had one, and so did M uh, Mustakis there. So great day for those guys there. Especially Lynn just tore it up there. He had that. I believe he had a grand slam in that one there. Um, but I wish I would have kept that. I wish I would have recorded that footage. But it was something I had. I was like, I had to play this. I had to, you know. I just decided, like, screw up playing it. And then when I realized how good it was, I'm like, oh, my goodness, this has been good gameplay. But, eh, unfortunately, that's what happens. Not to mention, i got to kind of speed up some of this series here. Uh, we ended up uh, winning the third and final game there, 7-2 to two there. We'll take a look here. As you see, uh, Reyes, we were able to, uh, he was able to get shut down there, 0 for 4 in the game. D uh, did strike out there once. Uh, Venerable, 1 for 3 in that one. Uh, had a hit, uh, or excuse me, a run. Uh, there for him, uh, Edwin and Carson Allen, two for three there, uh, RBI and a run, or excuse me, RBI and a walk. Uh, this one I simmed, and there you see Navarro hit a home run, uh, and also got an RBI there. And take a look at the rest of uh, the numbers there. We'll take a look at the Royals there. Gordon one for th one for four. Um, for some reason they've been starting him in the top of the lineup there, and I don't I don't really like that. Uh, Hosmer there, uh, number three, uh, in a three hole there, one for four. Uh, three for four for Lynn. He really tore it up in this series there. Uh, two runs, one strikeout there for him. Uh, Lynn had a double. Uh, Mostakis also had another home run. So he he was really just tearing it up also too. Uh, that was really cool to see that. Uh, see that number of him, his name pop up there for home runs. Uh, Vargas picks up his uh, seventh win of the season. Seven innings, uh, five five uh, hits, two runs, two of runs, no walks. Three strikeouts in the game. Uh, Harvard picks up. Uh, does not pick up a uh, save, but he does get some work there for himself. As we go into the month of June here, and we'll take a look here, our next series coming up here. We will skip that Chicago series there again. We will not play it, play against them, but we will play in that first game against the Boston Red Sox, that three-game series there. We'll feature that. We'll try to feature that series in an entirety. Maybe not. I don't know. Just have to see what the pitching uh, matchups are. But we, I do know we're going to play that first game. Uh, but before that, we'll have, of course, our monthly Kansas City Roll Insider Report talking about what happened in the month of May and what we expect to see, show you guys the ups and downs for the players that month. Of course, there's a lot of downs, um, and uh, of course, uh, should give you a forecast of what we hope to expect coming up here this next month of June. So that is it for this episode of the Kansas City Rolls franchise here on ESGN. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Please hit that like button. Uh, that really helps me out. Not to mention, hit that bell, not or that bell notification so you guys can be notified. And most importantly, hit that uh, sub button so you guys can subscribe and be a part of the ESGN Nation. Follow us, follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. Links are down below in the description. Check us out there for the latest news and events on what's going on here on the channel and what's going on in the world of sports gaming in general. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, keep yourselves rather healthy, and I will see you guys next time.